you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, I'm, I wouldn't call myself uh, a basketball fan as such, or, you know, somebody who keeps up with all the ins and outs, but one of the things that, since you brought it up, I remember it passed through my mind, you know, can not this black man make any decision that he wants to make about what he wants to do with his talent? You see, is he not free to make a decision that he wants to go one place versus another place? And then it just struck me as like, well, it's almost like you're on a plantation. You can't leave this plantation mm -hmm. and go to another plantation on your own. You see, somebody white has to make that decision. And I may be mistaken, but... Uh, wasn't the uh, contract changed around so that other people couldn't, other players couldn't just pick up and leave? I don't know <laughs> if, if that's true. But, again, no, we should be able to control the decisions that you make. I mean, that's just when people are looking, being looked at, and so they're not equals or they don't have the right to make the decisions about what ought to happen in their lives. I want to go on the record as saying that I am so deeply proud of the Attorney General Eric Holder, that he stood his ground and did not back away from that truth. And all of us as black people should stand by him. If you go on the web or make a comment, everybody should, black should be commending him for taking that stand, that's helping all of us, do, do you see, that the Attorney General of the United States, now people can get angry with him if they want to maintain racism, but those people who want to end racism, white supremacy, should be very proud that that black man is up there and taking that stand. I feel so very good to learn that.